Kitama is over. Time for more out of this world gang anime. If the title of Kitama the very final is true, the long running anime that they should really is done. Pardon our skepticism, but it's fake as of before. So what are we going to do with all this sudden free time? Find a new show to watch, of course. With Kitoki no longer on the schedule, we look for more out of this world gang anime, and fortunately, that's extremely easy to find. Searching Frog if you're looking for a show that mixes alien antics and pop culture like Kintama, look no further than Surgeon Frog, also known as Kiroro Gonzo. The series starts as a squadron of frog like aliens who have succumbed to conquer Earth, and it's not gone well, mainly because their leader will rather sit around and make Gundam models than just about anything else. Alongside their human Hinata family, who won't they now share a house. They also share a lot of dives into anime jokes and long form pasticles. You catch notes to Evangelion, Transformers, and naturally Gundam. The name just a few. It was also created by the concert designer for Kiwata Friends, Meine Yoshisaki. The researchers like Sakiki. If anime has taught us anything, it's that being a student with superpowers is rough. Fancy Kintama would likely also have fun with the researchers like Sakiki, which is about exactly that. Saki Kuso is a party goddess, and like the name says, his psyche had rather just be normal draw and aspires to be as average as possible. He also wears little deadly bloopers to make sure his psychic powers stay in check. Saki can, however, share these powers and probably totally unrelated. Many of these classmates are named after mind powers themselves. The charismatic Terahashi Tadapati, for instance, and the hot planet Hirokinesi, Hirokinesis. Dr. Slump Arali chan. Let's wrap things up by going back a bit further. The Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama's Weird Android Girl manga. The series got two separate anime adaptations, each centers on adventure Senbei Norimaki and its entry creation. The two presenters of Penguin Village occasionally crop up on Toriyama's other works as well. I catch both of them on Dragon Ball a couple of times. For example, similarly, you catch Toriyama himself and Dr. Sump, as well as a villain based on his theater. What will you be watching now that Kintame is over?